So far, so good on the Streamlabs end. I'm not seeing any dropped frames, at the very least. Aver open. And what does Twitch say the bitrate is? Come on, Twitch, you can do it. Determine the quality of the stream. Don't make me have to do a yesterday. 2900 bitrate. That is good. I will take that. So. Wrong. Hello, people of the internet. It is I, Soul Rack Dragon, here, back with more Bloodborne, where hopefully the stream won't be cut short because of Twitch being Twitch. So, we are going to be exploring the Nightmare Frontier in today's stream, hopefully beating it, and going from there. Um, I just need to check through my things. I'm not really going to put any... I'll put a little bit into the Hunter's Blood Pistol. The Hunter's Pistol, because I've got plenty of Twin Bloodstone Shards, clearly. But that will be all that gets. I'm not going to upgrade the Torch. And weapons are good there. My runes are good. Blood gems are good. So, it seems like this is all good. Do I have any... Cold blood, I do. I need to see how much for a level up. I'm satisfied with my runic setup. I'm satisfied with my equipment. So, see how many echoes to level up. Well, and go from there. Turn this volume down in my ears. Because it's very loud. Uh, 20,000 for a level up. So, I'm literally 307 off. I can... Very well. Nope. Me stand. Sorry, doll. Didn't mean to roll away from you. I, I'm not. I'm not ready. Yeah, that's enough. Alright. Probably not going to get another level out of this, so... Let's see here. Let's see here. I think I'm going to get skilled with 35 to start with. And then I'm going to start pumping Blood Tinge a little bit. For the other weapon I'm going to be using. I will, doll. I will. The Nightmare Headstone for the Nightmare Frontier. Alright, alright. So we've explored a fair bit of the Nightmare Frontier already and if my memory serves insofar as destination we get to go to the big swamp area of death next in the nightmare frontier because big swampy areas of death are always in a soulsborne game every single one has some form of swamp area of death and dismay i literally cannot think of a single one that doesn't He didn't drop me anything. I don't like him. He didn't drop anything for me. He disappoints me severely. Anyways. Um. I forget. Did I kill the big lizard up here? Or did I leave it be? I honestly can't recall. I think it's probably dead. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So if I'm a little scatterbrained today, I'm keeping a very close eye on the stream side of things to make sure it doesn't go poorly like it did yesterday and you know just a little bit tired but i'm hyped because i've got a three-day weekend not even, it's not even a three-day weekend i got a four-day weekend coming up here so that's gonna be nice and relaxing bye giant man hey wobba fat welcome 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 to the stream i am gonna have to start getting used to just calling you by um andy though i feel Especially if you end up on the ser when you end up on the server, your in-game name there is Wab is Andy. So I might have to start uh, getting used to calling you Andy there. It'll be difficult, I know, but soon enough you will hear that words coming from my mouth. But how be things, Andy? Gosh, that's weird to say. So weird. But I'll get used to it. I will get used to it. But how be things? Did you see that I did send you the link, by the way? Um. I forgot to do it immediately after stream because I was messing around with Twitch to try and figure out what the heck was going on, but I got it in the end. Hang on just a moment. I'll talk more when it's less noisy. 
I don't know the reference. I do know you're talking about lasagna. And I know that's the wrong spelling of it, but I don't eat lasagna, so I don't see the word often enough to um, know the proper spelling of lasagna, so... Never watched Steven Universe. It didn't really seem to sort of fit my aesthetics at the time. And it came out when I was sort of getting out of cartoons more than anything. So, yeah. Never was one to watch Steven Universe. Alright. I'm trying to think. Where do I want to go? I need to take out that guy up there. So let's start by going this way. Probably want to take out this big boy over here. Ah, uh, yes, I did. Ow! Hang on. Let me get safety so I don't get smashed by a rock! But yeah, I did hear that the moon last night was a blood moon. A super blood moon at that. However, I, unfortunately, did not get the chance to, walk, to see it. Yeah. It was... Today, yes. For me, it was at, like, 4 in the morning was the best time to see it in where I around where I live, so sadly, because I'm a I'm a very sleepy boy a lot of times, I did not get to see the supermoon. No. According from what I saw, like what I was reading, it looked like it wouldn't be until it was at like four o'clock in the morning from where I live. The shards out But yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to look at images of it because I really do like the look of a blood moon. The clear deep sea ring, we'll check that out here in a minute. But, um, yeah, sadly I can't watch it live. Plus, it's a very cloudy day where I am too, so that's not helping things. Try plunging attack. Can I not catch the tombstones? How do I get up here? Now oh, there we go. And then we get cold blood flower blood. 26th to the 27th. I mean, it might be tonight at 4 o'clock in the morning for me, but regardless, given the time, I'm probably not going to be able to catch it just because... Uh, Feed the Beast, the mod pack, yes, it is on the Feed the Beast launcher, but it does look like you can, because I can't use the Technic launcher, so I downloaded the AT launcher, and the AT launcher does have access to Feed the Beast mod packs, you just have to manually enter it in. Also, um, there is a specific version of it as well that you're going to want to download. But I don't know that off the very tip top of my noodle. We got another clear deep sea rune for an increase in poison resistance. Yep. It's a specific version of it because I know that there is a couple of versions of it. I just don't remember which version the server is running on. I can probably check in just a minute when I get to somewhere that I know is relatively safe because... Okay, I think this place might be relatively safe. Because the Direwolf 1.16 server does have a lot of different versions. 
and I know it's running an old version. I'm not sure if I can update it server side first. If I can, then I will definitely look into doing that. No. What's the password? Nope. Okay, I can't remember the password, and it's all on my main com on the computer that I'm streaming from right now. I think it might be 1.9.0 might be the version. Goodbye, big lizard. Ooh, chunks. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Where? Oh shit, you're right there. No, let me up. Ah, my blood. Go away. I knew one of those suckers was around here. I did not know where. God, I hate those things. One of the more creepy enemies in Bloodborne. Alright. I, I honestly should have seen it. Um, I can walk you through it, depending on what launcher you're using. Um, not right now, obviously, because I'd have to look at my launcher to be able to walk you through the process, but I could definitely see about walking you through it probably after stream. There we go. More shards. And down here, we find another item, Lead Elixir. Okay. I want to be careful with any shortcuts or something I, t I take here, since it is a long journey back. And I don't know that dropping down this hole over here is going to be the best idea. I think I know. I think it'll lead me out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will lead me out, but I think I might have to pass by a winter lantern to get to there. To get past it all, so. Alright. Lots of boyos around here. Some bold hunter's marks. Stone shards, a dead end. And there's some emphasis on the dead. Ow! You son of a biscuit. You should not be able to hit me through solid chunks of pillar. It's just not fair. I mean, I can do it, but that's that's fair. It's fair if I do it, but it's not fair if you do it, you know? I need to be careful around here. Because that just is the upwards motion over here. Uh, do I want to risk... I don't remember what the enemies are like up there, but it's a shortcut. I probably should unlock it. I think if I go down here, I'll trigger the aggro for that one, though. I think that's death. Very clearly did not trigger any aggro. But yeah, you'll probably... Okay, you got it downloaded? Awesome. Hello, big 
wolf. Let's go. Ow. Vertical mount. No, you don't have to vertical mount. Well, I'll tell you what, Wild Fat. Andy. Ah, it's gonna be so weird. Changing around your how I call you and how I associate you in my head, but if you want, after stream we can get in a Discord call and I can show you how to download it using the Feed the Beast launcher. If you'd like. Or not the Feed the Beast, but the AT launcher rather. If you want. Or you can send me a screenshot of... Actually, you know what? Just because you might have already downloaded it successfully, send me a screenshot of it, your... of what why you think you have it downloaded, and I can tell you if you do or you don't. That'd probably be a little faster. Old blood. All right. That was an excellently planned plunge attack by myself. I didn't actually think I could do that, but I guess I was proven wrong. Okay, nothing. Got a poison. Got an item over there. Toxic buildup is high, though. So we'll get that item in a bit. Let's unlock that shortcut first. I don't think there's more enemies along this path, but I could very well be wrong. Okay. No enemies further along this pathway. Goody goody gumdrops. So this is a shortcut. Hallelujah. Uh, let me just ride up to make sure this takes me where I believe it's going to take me and not somewhere else. Is this where I think it's going to be? At that base of the thing over there? Yes. All right. Shortcut successfully unlocked. So now... We don't have to deal with the freaking winter lanterns. Well, something I'm not sure of is is there anything hidden down there? Nope, just death. Alright, alright, alright. So let's get that item hiding over there. That still has a boy of block guarding it. Get caught on the boulders along the way. Um, did I already trigger that thing's aggro? Good lord, that thing has an aggro range that is insanity. Okay. Shit, there's another winter lantern. I heard it. I can hear it. Oh, I'm so low on vials. Okay, I need to equip antidotes then. Carefully, careful. Hello, little fella. I should honestly save the antidotes for when I confront the lantern. 
Oh, it's close. It's probably around that bend. Oh, there she be. Let's see how long I can avoid it for. That's a dead end. Ah, you've forgotten your Minecraft password. Oh boy, Wabafet. Andy, oh boy. Over here, we have Kin Cold Blood. I will be sure to read that since that is a new item. Night, everybody. Will your PC explode? Oh boy. Please don't explode, Andy's PC. Please, oh please. Although, considering my computer is maybe like eight years old or so and it doesn't explode, I'm pretty confident your PC will run it just fine. I'm relatively confident your PC, your laptop will run it just fine. In fact, as an assurance, what version of Windows do you currently run? You can call you what you want since you can't see your real name. I mean, I'm calling you your Twitch name. Oh yeah, you're you'll be fine. I'm running. Windows 7. I'm a Windows 7 old boy, and it runs just fine for me. So you'll be good. Ooh, tempering blood gemstone. Also, let's read that new thing. So the tempering is a physical attack up. It's a curved gemstone, though. And then the other new thing we got was kin cold blood. Used to gain unspeakable blood echoes. Cold blood of inhuman kin of the cosmos. Brethren of the old ones. Of the great ones. You used to gain unspeakable blood echoes. Dare not delve into the world beyond humanity. The eldritch truth touched upon long ago at the Bergen North. I will probably butcher it. I hold no guarantees that I would not butcher it. There is a very non-zero possibility that I would butcher it, yes. Okay, so the issue in getting my stuff back is I'm going to have to fight through waves upon waves of little fuckers. And I can curse because this is an M-rated game. The screeching is loud as well. Careful, careful. way for you to learn to say my name is say it with an I instead of a J. I don't think you've ever posted your actual name and I'm not inviting you to do so because doing so would be against Twitch's TOS and I don't want to be banned on the old Twitcher. So please do not post your name because I do not wish to be a banned. Oh, it's your Discord tag. Huh.
Interesting. And we got him this time. Great deep sea rune. And some thick cold blood. So the great deep sea rune is... All types of resistance by 100. That's pretty damn good. Not really. I honestly thought that was a stylistic choice of name. I didn't think it was, um... Oh, shit. Heal. Woo, doggies. Die. I did not think she would follow me. She must have an insane aggro range, that Winter Lantern. Oh, that's why, because this is literally her little cubbyhole with nothing else. Um, are you, by chance, are you playing through the Feed the Beast launcher? Because if so, yeah, if so, Feed the Beast has a very clunky launcher with it, which is why I go through the AT launcher, but don't worry, it's doing exactly what it should be doing. Trust me, I questioned it when I first downloaded it as well. It's supposed to, it's, it's a lot of mods, let's go with that. It is a lot of mods. <sighs> I need to refresh my echoes here if I'm going to be going to fight this boss. Because I know I will not take them on with 11 freaking echoes. And I don't really want to lose all these... Or, 11 files. And I need to spend my echoes. I know words well. A curse? Um, I'm not really sure if curse can run Feed the Beast packs, but I'm pretty... It probably can. Let me do a quick Google search. Feed the Beast. You know what? Dire Wolf 20 on Curse Forge. Oh yeah, you'll, you should be able to do it. You should be able to do it on Curse Forge. Oh, the doll's missing. Doll, oh doll, where are you? There she is. Oh, she was. I'm sorry for disturbing you, doll. You were paying your respects. I can respect that. Um, I think I can upgrade my weapon once. Yes, I can. So we can get our saw spear up to a plus nine because we got a little bit more chunky. But that's it. Um, I did get a better one of these perhaps so 6.3 nope it is the exact same thing okay okay um we'll use all of the lesser cold bloods for now and see where that puts us multiple that's probably enough for a level for a couple levels welcome home good hunter what is it you desire you read the channel the blood let the echoes become your strength give it time man give it time let me stand close now shut your eyes all right so we want skill up by two, and then we want to start working on blood tinge now. Thank you, doll. Good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. 
she's so she believes in me she thinks I've got worth she thinks my life is worth something okay now it's time for a boss fight good gosh I don't remember how this boss fight will how this boss fight goes it's been ages I'm pretty sure I've beaten this boss. I'm relatively confident I've beaten this boss once before. Relatively confident. Yeah. I, you know, I should have probably changed out my resistance rune. Because I don't need that resistance anymore. Fireblood gemstone. HP recovery is attached to it. We did also get the curse, but could yeah, I'm not taking a minus four HP gradual. Nope. No thank you, game. Benefits do not outweigh the positive or the negatives. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Give me a mere minute to get to some safety here. Oh, I should have gotten got by this boy. -o. Yep, another plus three to Anne Bonnie Mary Reed. In the servant rank up calculator. By the way, what was that? I forget. Were you the one that liked Fujino? I honestly cannot recall off the tip top of my brain noodle if you liked Fujino or not. Because I can be a forgetful dragon sometimes. A read a lot of the time. She's not only getting a rerun, she's getting a strengthening quest. A strengthening as well. I guess her noble phantasm is getting a strengthening. It's either a noble phantasm or a skill. One of the two, obviously. Look at this big open arena. I wonder if there's anything in here. Nightmare fuel! He's a fire on his laser! I think it's buff is gone. Whoa! No idea that that was about. Let me live, let me live, let me live, let me live. That does not look pleasant. Come on, Amygdala. Amygdala, Amygdala, let down your lumpy head.
Back off, back off, back off. Back off, back off, back off, back off. You did that. I was so close! Oh, I was so close. Honestly, I don't know what half those mods are. I just went with the Direwolf 20 pack because he's a somewhat popular Minecraft modded Let's Player. Oh gosh, I'm solo on Blood Files! Oh, there's. Excuse me, there's a couple of magic mods. <laughs> Alright, I'm low on vials. I need more. Um, I know there's Batania, Blood Magic, Astral Sorcery, Ars Nova. Um, there's a couple more. I haven't looked into any really beyond... Um, I don't think I have Legend Gallia. There's only a couple that I've actually looked into myself, but... There's plenty to be done. Plenty, plenty, plenty to be done. And who knows, maybe I'll see if I can't throw Thawmcraft in there, because I do like the Thawmcraft, but maybe, maybe not. I'm experimenting with trying to get proximity chat to work, because I feel like that will be a very good thing to have. Thaum. T-H-A-U-M. It's an old but very classic mod that's gone through a lot of updates. It does sound like Thong, though. Yes, you are not wrong. Hello, Porkers. Come on, Porkers. Oh, I've already started down the path of Astral, though, Wabafet. I've already started down the path of the stars. Though that's not to say that there can't be multiple people on the same mod. Yeah, that's fine. You'll be able to use Astral as well. I'm not going to stop you from it anyways. I know there's also Uranium, so there's either nuclear bombs or nuclear reactors in some way, shape, or form. I'm not sure which... Both options scare me, though. Okay, um, probably a couple more runs for Echoes. Because the Porkers are the best Blood Echo givers. I could consume the Kin, co the kin Cold Blood to get enough Echoes to purchase. Man, we got close to killing on Magdala. If I can get more than one visceral attack on her, it... I don't know. What is that, Magdala? Hmm. And you looked at what... You looked at Amagdala. Would you say Amagdala was a he or a she there? Runes. 
Is there a runic mod? I honestly didn't see a runic mod when I was looking through them, so I could have very well missed it, though. What mod is it for, I'm out of curiosity? Is it just called runes or something? Echo, 19 vials. We've got enough echoes to purchase some things. Ah, mana and artifacts. Okay, I do recall seeing that. Hmm. I do know that the Ars Nova mod, you can craft your own spells, like customize them and everything. I'm not exactly sure how to do so, but one example I've seen of spells is like you can turn blocks. Um, what's the proper word here? You can make blocks able to be walked through. Because I saw it in a Skyblock series where somebody literally turned the block somebody was standing on fall throughable and they fell into the void. Except this was a Skyblock where if you fell into the void, you teleported to the top of the world. And then you kept falling. And falling. And falling. Forever and ever and ever. Okay, um, I need to switch around my runes. I don't need that frenzy resistance anymore. So, physical damage reduction is good, but frenzy resistance is not needed. I need something defensive. HP and stamina could be worth. Let's go for a 10% HP boost for now. That might be enough to let me survive another couple, an extra couple of hits. But I mean, honestly, feel free to experiment on a single player world to see exactly what one you would want to do. Feel free, feel free. Because like I said, I won't stop you if you want to do um, Astral. And J6 won't stop me from doing Batania because there will be no patents on the server or anything like that. You can open a shop, of course, but, you know, I, J6 and I have to hammer out the rules, though, to be honest. We're still working on those. But it's meant to be a fun server, you know, no politics or anything like that. I feel like I can probably outrun that dude. Honestly, it's more of a hassle to kill him than it is to not. How am I... Do I not fully heal? I must have not fully healed from equipping that rune. Well, Amygdala... Let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay! Noted, do not jump into Amygdala's waiting arms. <laughs> do not just jump right into Amygdala's waiting arms. You will get smashed. Amygdala is not a hugger. Very clearly. Or maybe Amygdala is a hugger. Just a very intense one. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, do you watch Unlim the Abridged Unlimited Blade Works? I know a few people watch it. Do you watch it? You don't? Okay. Just wondering, because they dropped a new episode a couple days ago. And I'm not normally one for the Abridged series, but it... I have to admit, 
it's it's caught my attention. How did I miss? Oh, Amidala. You know what? I think I know. Amidala's clearly a female. It's got Amy in the name, after all. Okay. Attacking the legs does jack shit for damage. Whoa. Okay. Good hit, good hit. And it's in a frenzy. Careful, careful. I was gonna say I think the frenzy's done, but clearly it's not. Thirty-seven for a gunshot. That's actually pretty good. And good night, Amidala. Second try. Third try. I know my try numbers. Oh, huh? I didn't get much fashion from it. But we got the ailing Lauren Chalice. Which, if we go to that, we can't even use because we don't have the materials. But it's a fixed dungeon. It's a depth of four, but we'll get to those in a bit. A chalice that breaks a labyrinth seal. Lorne is a tragic land that was devoured by the sands. The tragedy that struck this ailing land of Lorne is said to have its roots in the scourge of beast. Some have made the dreaded expedition exploration that Yarnum may next. Maybe next. I don't remember the purpose of this lamp. I well and truly don't. Well, I guess we're done with the Nightmare Frontier. Amidala was not as hard of a boss as I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Return to the Dream. Where I think we should probably purchase some more vials. So that's another one down. Another boss down. Oh, where to go? Where to go next? So there's... Follow the plot. Um, Kanehurst. DLC. Or start doing Chalice Dungeons. Maybe... Hmm. I might be able to blitz through the first dungeon with my high level. Might being the key word here. I want to check something, though. Um, go to the lecture building. See if the mysterious stranger has anything new to say. Now that we've defeated his precious godhead. Nope. He has nothing new to say. Okay. I guess we should probably try and blitz through the first of the chalices then. I guess we should... Actually, let's sell some of our gems first because we don't need all of them. 
and then we can try the first chalice and see how it goes, because I remember the first chalice being quite hellish, though I do tend to do it fairly early on, so... No. 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 That might be worth it. That might be worth it. No. Could be worth it. No. Could be worth it. No. No, no. Okay, this will do. Alright, so we're gonna do a chalice dungeon then. A makeshift altar. A short route chalice is required to conduct a ritual. Oh, no wait, I think I gotta go to this one first. Yep, the first ritual altar. Use the ritual altar to create a chalice dungeon with a chalice ritual or search for the chalice dungeons created by hunters in other worlds. We'll do the chalice ritual with the Fumaru chalice. It needs two ritual blood, which is all we have. And will cost us 1,000 blood echoes. This one is always set. The ritual is finished and the chalice rests upon the altar. You may now explore the dungeon. In the dungeon, the mighty dungeon, the hunter hunts tonight. Alright, alright, alright. By the way, well, out of curiosity, what are you? Who are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna be probably wrecking up the summer versions of Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed after I finish leveling up Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed. Sorry, I answered my own question. All right, so the chalice. Nothing. I don't think it. Oh, I guess this is the right way. I thought that was a door there, though. No, I guess that's not a door. Okay. And look at that, we've already found a checkpoint. Man, this must be an easy thing if the checkpoint is right here or it's very difficult. Alright. Got rats here. How easy are these fools gonna be? Two mold. Lovely. Materials in a holy chalice ritual. Mold that grows from rotten flesh and blood inside the old labyrinth. Matures to bear giant spores. Well, keep in mind you are hosting all these mods on your client right now. Server side, it should be less laggy. Should being the keyword here. Because right now your computer is chugging along, loading up everything. You know? But with something else to bear the brunt of that loading process, it should be easier. Because you're also, it's not just the mods, it's also the world gen going on for you right now. So yeah, trust me when I say it will get better. Can I climb the ladder? Thank you. Okay. Let's go through this bottom path first. Hello, kidnapper man. Goodbye, kidnapper man. I can't remember if the kidnappers can kidnap you in this in these dungeons. That is something my memory lacks the parsecs of. Molly. Tov. Gotta be careful with what I call that since Molly is a drug name, I think. Might be an old school one, though, so maybe it's not a commonly known slash recognized thing? No clue, honestly. Man, Gascon would have not liked it here. All these rats. Okay. 
be fair, I don't care for it here because rats. Rats are disgusting creatures. Or at least they have the potential to be fairly disgusting. You know? I won't judge all rats. I'm not judgmental. It's just most rats are not the most sanitary of creatures. Is there any point in coming in here? I don't think this leads into any shortcuts. No. Okay. I'm happy that I'm killing everything so much quickly. Shows how much higher leveled than I am I am than I'm supposed to be for this area. It depends on the context, I suppose. Like, and it depends on what you define as out, as killing. Because, I mean, very technically, would a, would a state, would somebody who has to administer lethal eject, injections for the death penalty, would that be considered killing somebody? It's a very philosophical and moral question you ask here, Wabafet. Andy. Andy Fett. Okay, so... You're asking in the context of the server. Um, I... W Again, we haven't fully ironed out all of... Oh. All the rules haven't been fully ironed out yet. But, um, I will say it is probably going to be allowed. Just, you know, expect retaliation. And I would also say don't make it so that somebody just can't play you kill them so much. Because the Gravestones mod is in it. So if you do die, you can recover all your equipment. You just have to journey to where you died. So as long as you don't spawn camp... I'd say spawn camping and grave camping are probably going to be two of the not allowed things. And if somebody does ask you to not to stop, I would say probably stop. I will say those are probably a couple of the rules at the very least. At the very least, those would be a couple of them. Oh, you'll trap your own house. Interesting. Won't be able to have guests over for things then, though, Boba Fett. You won't be able to host parties. Alright, behind this door we have an undead giant. We know the best way to get to me is to just... Ow! Okay, he's actually got a bit more um, health and damage resistance than I remember. I think I gotta go for his weak spot, though. And goodbye, giant. Giant gives us an adept blood gemstone in 2000. The adept is thrust and physical attack up. Um, could be useful. But I'm not going to find out just yet. Because we're starting to get fashion. And down we go. Look, the beginnings of fashion are upon us. That giant gave us a fair bit of fashion. I'm so happy. The Marian Labyrinth Layer 2. Alright, alright. What do we got? What do we got? Lamp? Ch 
charred creepers. Hmm. What do you mean by charred creepers? Out of curiosity. Oh, the rats mod. I forgot. The rats mod is in there. That's a somewhat magic mod. You can use you can tame rats and use them for automation purposes. I forgot about that booby trap. Curses. Ah, charged. True. Very true. You can indeed make charged creepers with lightning, can't you? Hmm. I mean, the only thing that will kind of disappoint you is that um, there is a somewhat claiming system on the server that um, if you're not allies with whoever owns the claim, then you can't um, place any blocks or anything in their space. However, it also protects against um, creeper explosions. So, you know, that's pretty good. All right. Focus me. Focus. Where are my echoes? Do I have to summon those fools to get my echoes back? I have to trigger the trap to get my echoes back. If I remember this map correctly, I want to head this way first. I feel like there's a hidden wall in here. Just something in my instincts is telling me there's something hidden. Ow! Maybe there was the ambush that I, my instincts were reacting to. Oh, button. Ow! It's not hidden. Hmm. Maybe my instincts slash memory are wrong. I swore there was something over there. Oh well. Um. Let's see, quick silver. Ladder we go, where we'll stop, nobody knows. Can the res boys, they can't climb ladders. Alright, I know your summoner is around here somewhere. I just don't remember where. Uh, let's go this way first. Maybe. Yep, summoner is in here. To be specific, I think over there. Maybe. Remember, trying to remember, trying to trigger the old memory banks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're in here. I can't deal with you at the moment, bot. Now I can deal with the bot because I'm pretty sure I'm safe. 
All right, and ban. Okay, so this was the way I was supposed to go. Good to know. All right, and I did see big boy down there. Hello, big boy. You got a hammer, I see. Or rather, a mace. Surprise exam. And the way forward is unlocked. But we're not going forward just yet. Got a little bit more to extrapolate, explore down here. Over here is next. Only died once in this chalice dungeon. This far. I'm impressed with myself. And that was because I got ganked. I'm even more impressed with myself than I have any right to be. Um, I am very susceptible to traps, apparently. I guess I just can't pick a trap out of a crowd. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there, Mr. Kidnapper Man. Good night. And now, some loot. More ritual blood. I could have swore that triggered a trap, but I guess I was again wrong. I'm wrong on a lot of things. But there's nothing wrong with being wrong, because if you're right all the time, then you're probably a bit of, a little bit, um, snoovy about that fact. Probably. You might not be. You just probably are. Alright, alright. So with that, all avenues here have been searched, so onwards! to our next fight. Merciless Watchers. One Watcher down. Watcher sound. I don't even need to be doing my charge attacks. That's a waste of Sam. And the Watchers are dead. They were indeed just prey. We got another tempering bloodstone, blood gemstone, and a few more root chalice. So the other one is a 12% damage upgrade. That, I'm pretty sure, is better than anything I've currently got. And the Root Chalice. Root Chalices are used in rituals to break old labyrinth seals. are said to change the labyrinth's form each time. The old labyrinth was carved out by the Thumerians, superhuman beings that were said to have unlocked the wisdom of the Elder Truth. So the difference is the Root... This is a fixed one, as is this. This one is randomized. And you can abuse that system very heavily. I might do some randomized ones if I have to, but I don't think you actually have to. Alright, 
And further in we go. Look at all this fashion I've been coated with. I'm so happy how fashionable I am. Thumerian Labyrinth Layer 3. And another check. And this area is a bit more menacing right off the bat. There's a pit and a cage and somebody to summon. Not that I'll be summoning them, but there is somebody you can summon. I might summon them for the boss. I don't know. I kind of want to see how I handle the boss solo. Because the boss, if memory serves, is annoying as hell. Oh, I forgot how big open this area is. Arcane Haze. Tempering Blood Gemstone. I think they only dropped the gemstones here, actually. Don't remember what that... Oh, it lowers the cage, clearly. Into the cage. And it takes you to the upper layer. Nice little shortcut. May as well make use of it. We're already here, after all. Uh, I think that's where I have to go, so I'll not go there just yet. Something's not happy to hear me. Keep on circling, circling, circling. See if there's any enemies up here. Thought there was. There is. Hey, 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 person! Hey, enemy! Hey, hey! Bye! Thank you for the blood vials. I actually do need some of those. That's appreciated. And then another cage that will lead you down. Okay. Um, we're going to have to fully explore that lower area anyways. So let's see what this little opening leads to, shall we? That was a thump. Alright, in here, we find a trap! A tarp! That was a good tarp. Item? No, it's just a candle. We got a chest. Not a tarp's chest, but with more tomb mold. Feel like that might be needed. Alright, see you when you get back if I'm still going, Wobbuffet. See you when I get back. When you get back if I'm still going. And if I'm not still going, then thanks for stopping by, man. Go and eat. Satisfy your empty belly. I feel like I passed by an enemy. And I'm gonna get jumped by something. Guess my paranoia was for naught. Let's heal. Well, 
Right, those suckers give 12 bullets. Closed door. More vials. I said maybe longer stream. The odds are high, don't get me wrong. But it's still only a maybe. Hello, poker man. Heal. More bullets, more dew drops, blood. There's good odds of it, but it's not 1,000%. Let's imitate Link here. I imitated Link for no reason. Okay. And through this door here. We are strong. We clearly lift. And we're on the upper crust now. Hello, Bell Maiden. Goodbye, Bell Maiden. It's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I can clearly hear you guys wandering around. You're not being quiet. More ritual blood. More ritual blood. Okay. I know there's a bit in the underside there, but we got some of these boyos that shoot fireballs to worry about first. Arcane Haze, which I do need to read the item description of. Yep. I do, I do. And I will, I will. More Cold Blood do. Kidnapper Man. And under the bridge. Under the bridge. Dun, 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 dun. Under the bridge. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Under the bridge. Hello, little lizard. It's time for you to die. Dun, 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 dun. Under the bridge. That's where I went up, so I think it's just this way now. There's a little bit more to explore. Man, this dungeon's a lot easier than I recall it being. Again, the benefits of being, like, stupidly... What's our level? The benefits of being in the 60s when you go into this level-wise, rather than in the 30s. Okay, upsy daisy. It's time for another boss. This one, probably the toughest of these dungeon ones yet. Oh, 
Alright, let's see how my muscle memory fares. Not that there's much muscle memory for this boyo. Look at this grand entrance. Open the door. And there's a giant watchdog of the old lords that's on fire! Fire doggo! Late explosion. Very nice, Watchdog of the Old Lords. Very nice indeed. Heal. Yeah, I gotta stop doing the charge attacks. It's not doing me any favors. Explosion! Lava vomit. Yum, yum. Gosh darn it. Played right into its hand. Gotta stop playing into this doggo's hand. It's a good boy. That much is clear. But, good boys sadly only last so long. First try, the watchdog of the old lords. We got the Fire Blood Gemstone and the Central Femuru Chalice. As well as... Oh, we already got our Echoes. That was a real quick one. So the Central Femuru Chalice is another fixed dungeon. It requires six Ritual Blood this time. Uh, chalice that breaks a Labyrinth Seal, but only root Chalice changes the shape. The little Labyrinth was carved out by the Femurian superhuman beings. Um, so yeah, nothing really changed between those two. Except for the fact that it's not a root Chalice. And then we did get a... A, um, one of these in the fire blood department. Physical attack plus 6 and a fire attack plus 8.4. That's not bad at all. Nearly went through all of our vials. 
So maybe I want to be a little stronger before going on to the next of the dungeons. Although, you know, I saw some time, so maybe we should do a root dungeon, since that is random. If I can. Probably should have had the Charred Hunter garb. That would have probably served me pretty well there. Uh, do I have any... I have three. Two of the... those bloods. The doll is probably at her thing, so let's go and see if we can't upgrade our gear a little bit here. Alright, so currently we're using this. This is a plus 15 to our damage, hot diggity dang. Sadly, nothing is better than that one, and for this one... Physical attack plus 7.3 compared to 6.3 is worth. Okay. Alright, so we've got more Daka. We can sell the useless gems now. So they're not clogging up space. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell to you. Don't need to... We'll keep one of each of these, though. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a Bolt Gemstone yet, actually. Because I know they exist. She senses our approach from afar. Hello, doll. Welcome, what is it? Channel my blood. Well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Ah, the doll is so peaceful. Always peaceful. Uh, one in blood tension, that's all we can really go for, it looks like here. Probably continue to puff up our skill. I believe the soft cap is Farewell, 50. Good hunter. May you find your worth Before it starts to world. sort of dry off. Let me see if I can buy anything from the insight shop here. Anything worthwhile. Um, cold blood and bloodshot eyeballs. The short ritual root. Um, one of the root chalices that breaks the various seals. This glass chalice when full is used in a short ritual to create and join the chalice dungeon, not for use in a ritual using standard materials. Short rituals are conducted at the makeshift altar. I will purchase it just so I have it. But there's nothing else there. Okay. However, we do have the short Thumerian root, so let me see. Okay, so this is... This is online-only stuff. Um, I think I want to remove the chalice. I'm fine with it erasing the progress. Okay, so yes. We can't... We can't do any of these. We don't have enough ritual blood. That's more than a little annoying. Um. So we need ritual blood. I think you can. I think the purpose of these is that you can put multiple around, and you can go one, two, three, four five, six, and do all the story ones in order. But it seems I don't have blood. Uh, I need to see what drops ritual blood, apparently. So, Bloodborne Wiki. Ritual blood. Was it ritual blood one, or was it ritual blood two? Yeah, it's Ritual Blood 1. I mean, we'll need Ritual Blood 2, though. So, after defeating the Blood Starved Beast, I can purchase it from the Bath Messengers here. Okay, so I should be able to purchase it. So, that's that one. But what about Blood... Ritual Blood 2? Is in chalice. 
um, from Kidnappers, all variants of the Merciless Watcher, variants of Shadows, and after you complete the Lower Thumeru Chalice, they can be purchased from the from them. So we will need to farm Chalice and just even get to the next thing. Um, for now, be under materials. I have zero. So we need, I think it was two for the root chalice. Yes. So we will conduct this ritual and see what kind of dungeon we get. So there is no additional rites. But let's see what we got here. Do I have any ritual blood twos? Because I think I got some from the first dungeon. It'd be a little bit pri- actually it wouldn't even be pricey at all. I could farm that first dungeon. Hmm. Something to think about, I suppose. I do have four ritual blood too, so I can almost make the central chalice. I won't, because I have no idea what awaits me in there, but I can. Okay. A little bit more wide open starting area this time with an offshoot right off the bat. Ladder. No traps as far as I can tell, just one boyo. Still goes down easy. Kidnapper man. Thankfully not too strong. Uh, that is not a dead end, so we'll go down that way in a little bit. Did see him. Did see this fork in the road, but let's check this out. That does look like a trap. Um, lots of blood vials, and quicksilver bullets, and vials, and molly tops. And that totally doesn't look like a trap. I guess there is no swinging blades this time. a knife man. Okay, I think I remember the blue lantern sort of dictate or, um, not dictate, but annotate the ways to unlock the ways deeper in. Or perhaps just loot. Don't think I don't see that possible trap right there, though. Ooh, more ritual blood, too. I guess it's not trap, but it is a very extravagant chest. Un... What was that? Uncanny saw cleaver. So I do think I know about these. Uncanny variants of items have different gem slots. I believe I picked the saw cleaver to start with, so I could probably compare and contrast with my basic one. They might have a bit better stats. I honestly don't know that. I do know they have variant gem slots, at the very least. But, huh. Didn't expect I would find an uncanny... Um, weapon. Here. But I guess that you can find those in the root ones, since they are randomized.
doorway. I was about to say this kind of looks like a boss room, but then an enemy walked by, so... It's a chest room. Lots of loot. I think this is a ritual chest room, so... Or not. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I remember these have just lots of ritual components, but... Sucka. Vials. Bunch of useless riffraff. Big chest. I think this will for sure have a good ritual component in it. Ritual Blood 1. I'd say that's good. Two of them, in fact. More Ritual Blood 1. We'll be able to repeat this dungeon already. Should we feel the need. And I might look up what this um, root chalice dungeons can give as far as loot. Not gonna say I'm gonna farm them, but I might, you know. Could be worth our while, I don't know. All right. We've not even fully explored one path here. We've already come out with so much loot. Heck, we've not even done one boss. Although I think the depth can be randomized with how many bosses there could be. So there could only be one, for all I know. To shut on Mr. Kidnapper. Welcome back. That was a quick meal. If you don't mind me asking, what did you eat? Okay, so I guess that's this route explored. This is just a side path, too. You don't know how to say it in English? Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, let's... You don't have to just say what the dish is, but maybe, like... Was it a meat, fruit, or vegetable sort of meal? We can do it in that sort of way. Or grain, I suppose. Flick the wrist and light the lantern. I was about to say this looks like a boss room as well, but it's not. Okay. Interesting. A sausage, but in the form of a paste. Hmm. Oh, hey, kidnapper man. Can't say I've heard of a dish like that before. Sausage, but paste. With everything in it. So, okay, it's it's a little bit... It's kind of like a meat dish, but sausage, but a paste. Ow! Good lord, the traps. The tarps. Tarps are everywhere. Okay, that's probably the way forward. This looks like it connects back to that main area. And it does indeed. I'm relatively safe. Okay. Okay, I... I get the idea of the dish now. I get the idea of the dish now. Cool. It looks relatively simple to make at the very least. 
And that's all. And the best kind of dishes are the simple ones that still taste excellent. Those are the best kind of dishes. Actually, no. The best kind of dishes are the dishes here. Are those old homemade dishes that just stir up memories of your childhood years and that stuff. Those are the best kind of dishes. Okay. Area is relatively open, but only one foe. We're not on the same page. Why aren't we on the same page? Is it not a good dish? Is it not a simple dish? Pull the lever. It's simple. I mean, I'm not talking good for your health. I'm talking, like, good tasty. The tasty kind of good dish, not good for your health. Alright. There's gonna be a boss around here. Or there's gonna be another bridge path. Hello, kidnapper man. Goodbye, kidnapper man. You know, if you really wanted to kidnap somebody, you wouldn't be standing out in the open, like, right behind a door like that. You'd be standing off to the side of a door like that, so that way they can't see you here. See you coming. That's very clearly a trap. More vials... If you ever send mail to America, you'll send me some to try. If it would even make it past customs, you know. Mailing food is... tends to be iffy. Unless it's candy. I hear you can mail candy just fine. For the most part. So long as it's not illegal candy, but those are far and few between. It might not keep them. Like, unless it's very well-preserved, it might honestly go bad in the journey over. Unfortunately. That's a, that's the sad thing about meat. It tastes so good, but it has such a short shelf life. Why does it sound like somebody's trying to run a film projector? Hmm. We're already up, so let's go down. Rats. Oh, I'm sorry, big guy. Am I killing your rat friends? Tempering blood gemstone. I almost thought that was an enemy for a bit. Uh, tempering plus 10.5% attack. That's pretty damn good. And in here, maybe another thing. Fire paper. Useful. Uh, sorry if you sound boring or annoying, but why do you have to wait for me to make a spawn? You're so bored. It's more just I want it to be somewhat organized, you know? I want it to have... I want the server to look at least somewhat organized and not like it's just random. Plus, you know, you're not the only person that might be joining in. And... It is something that J6 and I both said we wanted to do before we allowed other people in, because 
Well, it is my server. It's also... J6 has a big say in it as well. Or a decent say, I will say. You know? But that just means that the next server, you'll have a bit more say in as well. And you won't have to wait for the spawn to be made. Because you'll be in the joining party. Okay, what do we got up here? Um... This way first. Wait, no, I've already been... Am I lost? I fought you. I th okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with up here, then. If I'm now going in a cir circle. Um, I think it's just one mod with a bunch of derivatives. But the rats mod has become fairly popular. Um, lately. Because they are pretty much automation, but fun. Like, it's a little bit different for automation. It's hard to describe, really. A piggy! We get to fight a Porkers! A Porkers is the boss. Oh, that's adorable. Surprise! Aw. You avoided my surprise exam. But not this time. Aw. Porkers! When did you learn to back kick? Porkers! Since when could you plow through freaking pillars? This Porkers is on another level from the ordinary Porkers. I must be very careful of this Porkers. That's fair. Radiant Blood Gemstone. Okay, that one is reduced stamina cost and physical attack up. That's pretty solid. RLC craft. Is that a um, mod pack, Wobbuffet? Okay. I will have to look into that. Obviously, my hope is that this server will last a while, you know. I'm not planning on going through servers as quickly as I have been with Minecraft series. I'm hopeful that this server will last a fair while, you know. Okay, okay, yep, yep, okay. My memory has been triggered. I know what you're talking about. Yep, I know those kind. I know RL craft. When you call it RLC craft, you confused me. But I know RL craft, yes. RL craft is, a, for, is something I'm familiar with. I didn't want to do that for my first one just because... J6 has never done modded Minecraft before, so I wanted to sort of ease him into it with a fairly light one, you know? I didn't want to overwhelm J6 with um, hard, hard survival modded series. I wanted to do a nice, easy-going one to start things off. That kid never was a little tougher than the others. Hunter's Mark. Yeah, I know our Alcraft. They're not a lot of difficult mods, though. A lot of the mods are more cosmetic mods than anything. Like, if you look through the mod list, there's a mod or two dedicated solely to, like, building roofs, I want to say.
Ow. Kidnapper man, you do not have the right to kick me. That kidnapper man needed to learn to respect boundaries. You don't just kick people without their permission. And in here we find more mold. Alright, so now we go down that pit with all the rats. Ow. Wrong way to get to the pit. Definitely the wrong way to get to that pit. Okay. Um, let's try and land. couple of them, and we succeeded. Yay. Shortcut. Open. I'm thankful this scoop isn't poisonous. In this chest we find da -na -na -na. frenzied cold blood. It's okay. Got a tempering blood gemstone, more vials, which is needed. And that's this side area concluded. So now back to the main path of this random dungeon. Fine to start things up with another checkpoint. And another one of these long corridors. Way forwards and side area. So far, so safe. Doorway there. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Clear this out first, make sure there's no more enemies. Oh, I think this is just an undead giant. Yeah, this is just an undead giant, but as a common enemy. Good gracious, these... Frickers hit like a truck. Not that good for echoes either. Okay, through this door first then. This is the first path. Thought I saw an enemy. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Here are the sip sip steps of something. Back 
tacos. And let's do this store first. So these boyos. Jeez, I got a little overconfident there, clearly. To be fair, I was like a couple damage off from a one shot on all three of them in one swing, which would have been so epic. So this overlooks. I somehow avoided getting skewered by arrows of a flaming variety. Random happenstance dodges are the best of dodges. I got some muscles to knock the big boy like that flying. That's the way forward, so he chose the right path. First time, this time. I don't like that. Because now I can't see. Oh, this must not be the right. glitched into the ground. I mean, I guess these places are random, so it's possible for some glitches to occur. Weird, but okay. Then this was that area we had seen prior. And anything? Uh, I'm going to... I still haven't had the chance, to be honest. Maybe over the long weekend, to be honest. Because, like I said, I've got a long weekend, and I do plan on catching up with some stuff, you know. Because, to be completely honest, I've kind of got another game obsession. It's a bit of an idling game, but it also requires a fair bit of activity. I don't suppose you've heard of the Legends of Eidolon, have you, Wobbuffet? Or the Legend of Eidolon? It's a fun game. Ah, more Watcher people. Ooh, that was a bit of damage. Holy cow. That guy came hard and fast. Compressed room very much gives the advantage to these guys. But they got dead. They got got in the end. Tempering gold. Tempering blood gemstone too. These are some pretty damn good gemstones, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they're the same tier as the, um, things I've been finding in, I found in the Nightmare Frontier, to be honest. Which is surprising. Also, am I still live? Because I'm not, okay, yes I am. The bitrate was just hiding for a minute there. Layer three. I'm pretty sure I could have seen how many layers deep this went, but I kind of just ignored it. All in all, it's not a bad dungeon. You know? 
It's not terribly difficult, not terribly easy. That undead giant mini boss, random boss thing was certainly unexpected. Okay, let's clear out the main room first. So I don't get anything following me into the side rooms. Okay, so that's one of those that gives plenty of bullets. Thought I had a button prompt to show up. Okay. Beyond her, though. Relatively empty. Okay, so we have three pathways this time. All of them are on that wall, though. So my guess is they're probably all connected. I hear tip tapping. So, yep, definitely connected since that doesn't open. If it's connected, literally... It's literally connected right here. Wow. That that was a tough explore expedition I just had to do there. Whoo, doggies. I didn't think I would make it through the, all that. Such such danger was fraught down that pathway, but we found our way back home. Alright. Um, rats. Messengers. This is some loot. Well, that's kind of obvious. Oh, crunch me! This man is Captain Crunch. This man, this captain of Crunch, just crunched me. He crunched me good. Thankfully, that wasn't that deep in. So we can recover relatively easily there. But I got cocky. And those kinds of things happen when you get cocky. Wonder, does the ghost lady respawn? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. I wasn't sure, but now I'm confirmed. Alright. So you can't farm the ghost women to get endless quicksilver bullets. Not bad damage. Too many rats for my taste. That's more manageable. This big boy packs a punch. Fool's Blood Gemstone. Physical attack up at full HP. So that's why it's Fool's Blood, because it's... You're foolish to think that you can do this non... No damage. Unless you're, like, a stupidly good player, like... Gosh, I don't remember who it was, but that did a hitless run-through of all the Blood Souls series. Or Soulsborn. Whatever you want to call it. And that's damn impressive. This almost seems like it would be a secret doorway to something. Hit crouching tiger hidden rat. Hey, lizard.
Was he an honorary rat, and is that why he didn't attack me until I attacked him? I think that little lizard was an honorary rat. Well, it died with the rest of them, so you know. It got to be with its kin? Hunter's Mark. And some ritual blood, too. I'm pretty sure we can use the central Thumerian shells at this point. I'm not going to because I want to see a change of scenery here, so we're probably going to move on after we beat this root chalice. And then I will probably reset down the um, initial one and clear that off screen since it is... I am a completionist and having all the ritual chalices lined up to a T and complete satisfies my inner completionist, you know? So this is pure optional up here. Let's see what we can find. Just sounded like a second set of footsteps was behind mine. You lived! Very impressive that he lived with so little health. Unless I completely missed that one. Which is possible. Okay. And this just overlooks here. So, there was very little on this lair. That saddens me a little bit. I will freely admit that. But, oh well. Well, actually, there's still possibility for a little more. We could have another side area, and we do. Awesome. That's why I love random dungeons. You never know what you're going to find in them. Okay, okay. It would suck if this was just like a dead end, but... Don't think they would do that. Candle lit. Grayson, I hear a porker. There's a porker down here. Hopefully it's not as buff as the other porker that smashed through wall. Is there multiple porkers? Looks like there might be multiple porkers. He can smash. He's not immune to the surprise rectal exam. Oh, that... See, this is a good catnapper, man. He was ready to sneak attack me while I was dealing with the porker there. This kidnapper knows his stuff. Not strong and wasn't fast enough, but he knows his stuff. Okay, I see rats and another porker over here. But I hear another one, like, char moving about. Unless this one's just sort of moving in place. Well, that porker didn't get to do much. So we didn't get to see its strength, but... Oh, wow, this area's pretty decently sized. Okay, um... We'll deal with the down first, and then we'll go up that ladder. So, yes, over here first. Let's see what's down this tunnel. We are covered in oil, so fiery boys do need to be aware of them. Hmm. I was kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop by opening that, but... I 
guess I was overly cautious. Okay. Pretty sure the upper ladder will lead to that upper area. If you can even get up there. Looks like you can. So hopefully. So that's tunnel one. Tunnel two. Let's avoid the oil this time. I see an item over there I missed. Well, that boy must have tried chasing me. Sorry, dude. Mr. Kidnapper. Please die for me. Mainly looking for any droppy boys, but I don't see any. So this just had a hidden kidnapper that if we had taken the high road, we probably would have activated and on the way back he would have jumped us. Clever, but I'm more so. More bullets? We definitely need those after burning them on those rats. Give me a chance to retaliate, at le or at least get up from the stairway or the ladder before you attack me, dude. Don't be like me, who attacks those who come up the ladders. Be better. I knew that was coming. I was pretty sure I was not that close to the thing. And another kidnapper, man. You know, I understand you might be very religious, but that was not the best time to try and pray for help. Bullets. And a big chest. All right. What we gonna find? What are we gonna find? Da -na -na -na. Bone marrow and ash. I mean, that's good. I don't remember how long bone marrow ash stays active for, but it does increase gun damage. It'll, it'll be useful soon. Considering the next area, since I have decided I am going to hit up Kanehurst next. Yeah, Kanehurst will be the next area we get where we should get another item to work with our with my um, finalized build here. But that probably won't be in this stream because Kanehurst is a hell of a place. Plus, I don't know how many more, how much deeper this chalice dungeon goes. It looks like not much longer. Or maybe it will. Nope, this is the final one. So this was the depth chalice of, a depth of three for this chalice. What is it going to be? What are we going to fight? Please don't be another watchdog. Beast possessed soul. We're up against a pyromancer. This is totally just a pyromancer from one of the Souls games. Terribly strong. Oh! S freaking skewering me through the stomach!
Oh, he's enraged. I think it's because he got that hit in on me. So I imagine his damage would have been higher had he let him hit us, but again, not that strong. A tempering blood gemstone for all this. Is it at least a good one? 6.3, that might be decent. We'll find out. Let's return to the dream, shall we? This was a fun little dungeon, I liked it. I enjoyed myself in this root dungeon. I did indeed. Alright, alright. That's the neck popping real nice. So, yep. Okay, you can't see the depth here. Or it's a depth of one. So, I think depth is difficulty. That's that's my own issue. So, let's erase the dungeon and then lay down the original. I'm not going to do it now, but I will be doing it later. And then let's lay... Oh, you can lay down the same one multiple times. Let's lay down the central Thumaru Chalice. Because this is the next one in order. And I think I could conduct... Yeah, I could lay down this one again and do another random, but I'm not gonna. Well, the dungeons are fun. They will get dull if you do them too much. Uh, let's check our gemstones first. So do we have anything better than what we've currently got? It does not look like it for that one. Oh, I saw something higher. 10.5. That is better than what we've got. Okay. And then this one. This is indeed better. Boost up to a 130. Very nice. Sell the rest. Get a couple more levels in skill. Skill, I think. And then we'll probably make our way. We can at the very least get to Kanehurst, I want to say. Yeah, we can at the very least get to Kanehurst, but we're probably not going to be doing much in it. Like I said, the area Welcome is tough and as one of the hardest bosses in the game. What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay. A little bit more skill. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I hope to. Alright, uh, I want the Witch's Abode. That'll be the closest to where I need to go. And I feel like I can just run past everything. It's a little dangerous, but it should be doable. Should, should, should be doable. Hemwick Charnel Lane. I could have swore that was all. I could have swore that was Chapel. I'm um, clearly losing it. Out of my way, fools! Oh wow, he he's got quite the aggro range. need this big guy chasing me down. We'll take him for a ride. I think if I just ju juke him, we trigger a cutscene. 
The letter didn't say to wait here. This carriage and these horses carry such majesty that they don't dare interrupt their arrival. Now the carriage is a little bit ramshackle, I'll admit, but it's clearly air-conditioned. I mean, look at that nice, cool mist. It's very clearly air-conditioned in this carriage. And let's ride. It's almost like somebody's watching us get in. Now we're on a nice, relaxing carriage ride. So nice. So nice. A little bit rough here. And very obviously a little chilly. I'm the I'm sure these horses will get some well deserved rest here soon. Look at this castle. Very robust architecture. But something's not right. For all we merely need to do is turn our heads around. These horses are long dead. And how and this carriage is covered in frost. And how exactly did we cross this bridge? Tisk tisk tisk. Eldritch transportation. Never second guess it. Alrighty. They know I'm coming. Opening the castle gates for me. How very nice of them. Alright. We'll light the lantern here. And I want to see real quick how my damage compares to some of the enemies that are around here. Before I call things. Now my memory of Kanehurst Castle is frighteningly low. So... Heidi, Heidi, item. Frenzied cold blood. Some statues of people. An inoperable device. I saw something running around down there. And there they are. Enemies are scurrying. Alright, let's see how we do here. Taking the hits. Oof. That hurt. Thankfully, I lit the lantern. Thankfully. But I need to receive my echoes and kill that thing for revenge. Thankfully, both of which are relatively close to one another. My echoes are here. As for that foe, I feel like it's gonna start making its way this way soon. Numbing mist. Not a new item. I forgot to. I still haven't read the. Oh, shorts. I got ganked. I got ganked. I'm disappointed in myself for falling into that trap. I'm so disappointed I fell into that trap right there.
Mm -mm. Okay, I think maybe try and explore this pit area. Those echoes are pretty much a lost cause for now. But we'll explore this little pit area. Jeez, a full barrage is not enough to put one of these down. That's a little scary. We might still be a little bit weak for this area, to be honest. We might still be a little too weak for over here. And the damage we're taking. Takes two fully charged attacks to even deal with one of them. Not not two, but four. Yeah, I'm not liking my odds here. I am not liking my odds too hot. When even the worms are giving me trouble, that's a bad sign. <laughs> Good frickin' gracious. Nope. Good gracious. Okay. I've got my ass handed to me by some worms. I just got my ass handed to me by some worms. That's kind of sad. That is kind of sad. Well, I want to see what they were guarding. So I'm going to run for it. I'm not even going to fight these worms because these worms are... Good freaking gracious, there are so many of them. A tempering blood gemstone. This is not how fishing is supposed to go. The worms are the bait, not me. Okay, the tempering blood gemstone is not as good as what we currently have. Okay. So, our echoes are gone, and we are now trapped in the land of Canehurst. Where the foes are freaking deadly as hell. But we'll persevere, somehow, and find our way through this magical castle in the next Bloodborne stream. Because for now, I am going to be calling this stream here... So, I've been Soul Reactor, and I hope that you've enjoyed this stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. And if you want to check out more by me, be sure to drop my channel a follow so you know when you go when I go live. Or drop me a like if you are watching on YouTube. And if you want to really show some support, you can drop me a sub. Uh, preferred sub on YouTube because that does not cost you any money. But if you want to sub on Twitch and donate to me, that is appreciated as well. Um, possibly. Firebinder, possibly. Once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. I do hope that you enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody.